Good morning, innocent fam. Um, okay. First things first, my um my what I saw and what I heard in my meditative state. I I I kept hearing very, very loudly um this song by Andrea. Andrea True Connections called More, More, More. It was released in 1975. Um, I knew none of this off of the top of my head because that song was never a part of my childhood. My parents never played it. Um, I think I heard it on commercials. Um, like, you know, different TV commercials. Um... <laughs> I don't know anything about this song. Um, I was born in 1989, but there's been, there's something very, very significant about the year 1975 for this particular innocent report. Um, I had to I had to sing what I heard. Of course, I didn't know any lyrics. I literally could just hear the melody. Um, I had to sing the melody. I had to sing what I heard <laughs> on Google and ask Google, what song is this? So that's what I did. <laughs> and I got um, I got Andrea more, more, more. Um, Andrea True. Andre Andrea True Connections. More, more, more. So any, any one of those words could be significant. The name Andrea, you know, True Connections can be significant. The term more and more and more can be significant. Um, the lyrics in the song were saying, how do you like our love? Um, more and more and more, how do you, you know, how do you like it? How do you like it? More and more and more. So that, you know. Um, 1975 adds up to the number 22, which breaks down to a number four. So 22 can be significant. The number four can be significant. Now, my son decided to wake up when I woke up. I woke up at 5.26 a.m. out of my meditative state. I looked at the clock and it was exactly 5.26. 5, 2, and 6 can be significant. That equals 13. 13 could be significant. 13 breaks down again to a 4. So 4 is going to be significant. Um... Andrea True passed away on November 7th, 2011. Um, that date could be significant, November 7th, 2011. One of those numbers could be significant, 11, 7, 2, 11. Um, that, but that date adds up to 13 as well which also breaks down to four again. So the number four is here about three times so far. Um, Andrea True was born on July 26, 1943. That um, breaks down to 32, which equals five. So the, the number 32 could be significant. The number five could be significant. Um, July could be significant. The number 26, that equals eight. That could be significant. The year 1943 could be significant. Check the screen. Um, apparently she was a porn star. Um, I don't know if that's significant. But then she turned into a singer. Um, she passed away at age 68. Six, you know, 68 breaks down to 14 which breaks down to five. So 14 could be significant. The number five could be significant because we have the number five here twice, okay? Um, what I just did is how, I, this is how I would get angel numbers or, you know, um, I, would, I would take the synchronicities of a download. This is how I would get angel numbers without practicing any kind of divination. Like, you know, I, I might drop some dice. I might um, shuffle some cards. But without divination, this is how I would get the numbers. And this, this is what God told me to do this morning. 
um, to just research who she was when she passed away because these numbers are, are, are significant to someone, somewhere, somehow. I don't know. Um, also, okay, so my son got up when I did. And um, when I was getting his cereal, I was getting a bowl of cereal. When I was getting his cereal, his cereal, I started hearing very, very loudly, um, I will love you anyway, even if you cannot stay. I started hearing Sweet Thing. And I, it was the one that Shaka Khan sings. So I researched that song because I, I kept hearing it louder and louder. Like as I was preparing to sit down, you know, and record, I kept hearing that song, Sweet Thing. Like, don't you know you're my everything? Um, I would love you anyway, even if you cannot stay. You know, I, I want your mind. I don't want your money. You know, here is where you ought to be. I kept hearing the lyrics. But I researched, I researched that. And that song also came out in 1975 when More, More, More came out by Andrea True. So Sweet Thing, so 1975 is definitely going to be significant because I heard, you know, in preparing for the reading, I heard two songs that I didn't grow up listening to. <laughs> I heard two songs that were both released in 1975. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Um, I saw in, in the meditative state, I saw a black woman kind of with high cheekbones and a big afro. And, um, I, then I saw a black, like probably like 10 minutes later, I saw a black man with an afro. They were both about my complexion. You know, they were, they were about this complexion. The black woman, um, she was looking downward at something. I saw a little girl with yellow Bermuda shorts on. I saw somebody picking up a couple cases of water at the same, at all at once. It was like a few half cases of water. Somebody was carrying cases of water. Um... I saw polka dot. I saw brown, like different shades of brown polka dots together, like kind of like a seventies pattern of polka dots, maybe the shirt. And um, sound like one of my babies is up. It was like different shades of brown. I saw, I saw like a sheer flower with pearls in the middle of it. Like some kind of brooch, like with sh like a sheer made flower. It was kind of like this. So this is one of my baby's headbands, and this is like this is sheer. It was like this, but it was white. But I saw kind of polka dots this color too, like brown, dark brown, light brown polka dot pattern from the seventies. Um. Oh, here it is. This is this is a better description. This is one of my, one of my baby's headbands from when she was very little. I saw. Um. Let me see. Did I see anything else? I I saw the number three three three, big like in front of my face. So three 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 will be definitely be significant. Um. And even, even when I woke up, I walked out into my hallway and you know how they have like the little Netflix screensaver slides. When I looked up on the wall, um, from like, you know, from the projector, it was the Bratz dolls and the Bratz dolls were dressed in seventies clothing. The Bratz dolls had like the bell bottoms and, uh, platforms it was advertising, you know, a kids a, a, a kids TV show of the, of the Bratz dolls. And then when I look down at my tablet, so I can turn on the frequency that I'm listening to. Um it was a a YouTube advertisement, you know, re recommending me watch a Steve Harvey episode. And I I still watch Steve Harvey. I still like Steve Harvey. So um, it was recommending the episode where Clyde, 
you know, Steve Harvey did disco. And it was uh it was the episode where Clyde called his show Check the screen. having a crush on Regina. <laughs> and he was dressed in a full disco outfit with the bell bottoms, the jacket, the the um the platforms. So I I was seeing seventies clothing and um, you know, it, it was being confirmed to me. Um, I heard somebody say Oh, I also saw the Six of Cups card. I saw the Six of Cups card from this deck of cards. Um, the modern the modern witch tarot. It's like a black woman giving something down to a little girl. Um I what else? I I saw a child crying for their mom to pick them up. It's like kind of like when you sitting in church or when you sitting somewhere waiting and your child want to sit on your lap and they start crying and fussing and throwing a tantrum. That's what it was. The, the child wanted their mom to just pick them up and like sit them on the lap. Um, I heard somebody uh, call the name Maya. Like somebody said it with a real high voice, Maya. And my name is Naya. I don't think they were calling me, though. I swear it was Maya with, with letter M. Not with the letter N. Not Naya. It was it was definitely Maya. Somebody said, Maya. Um, I I heard somebody say, Spike, Spike going to jail. Now, I don't, I don't know who Spike is. But I heard somebody say audibly, Spike going to jail. I heard somebody say, um, you gonna get left behind. That's what I heard. I heard somebody say, it was a peaceful passing. No, I'm sorry, no. I heard somebody say it was a peaceful ending. That's, and it was, it's, it's 12, 12 on a timer. At the moment I said it was a peaceful ending. I heard that very audibly. It was 12, 12 on the timer. Um, and that equals three three. So again, you know, the number three three three. Number three is significant. Um, what else? Something was a peaceful ending. Spike going to jail. I heard somebody saying thank you. I heard somebody saying thank you a couple of times. Um, I heard. Anything else? I don't, don't want to forget anything. Oh, I saw somebody. I saw somebody tying a rope around a finger. I kept seeing somebody tying a rope around a finger, but it kind of made me think of like the little reminder, like um, the the symbol for a reminder. It's a tie tie a, like a bow around your finger. That's what it made me think of. But somebody was tying a rope around a finger. And I saw somebody screwing a nail with a screwdriver into some kind of wooden box or something. Somebody was screwing some kind of nail something. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. So, I've definitely prayed and protected myself. Something happened in the 1970s that I had known nothing about. <laughs> but we going to learn today. Um, all right. I honor virtue. I benefit with gratitude. I am peaceful. I respect the property of others. I affirm that all life is sacred. I give offerings that are genuine. I live in truth. I regard all altars with respect. I speak with sincerity. I consume only my fair share. I offer words of good intent. I relate in peace. I honor animals with reverence. I can be trusted. I care for the earth. I keep my own counsel. I speak positively of others. I remain in balance with my emotions. I am trustful in my relations. I hold purity in high esteem. I spread joy. I do the best I can. I communicate with compassion. 
I listen to opposing opinions. I create harmony. I am both laughter. I am open to love in various forms. I am forgiving. I am kind. I act respectfully of others. I am accepting. I follow my inner guidance. I converse with awareness. I do good. I give blessings. I keep the waters pure. I speak with good intent. I praise the goddess and the God. I am humble. I achieve with great integrity. Oh, I meant to say I achieve with integrity, but great came out. So, you know, God wants you to achieve things with great integrity, innocent fam, okay? I advance through my own abilities. I embrace the all. Alright. The six laws of innocence. I am doing what I am aware is righteous and balanced and fair. I am reacting in a way that serves everyone's highest good. I am being honest with myself and everyone else. I am standing in my power without manipulating anyone out of theirs. I will expand whenever I receive proper knowledge. I will always acknowledge the Most High God with a heart of submission. All right, thank you, God, for our confessions and for us being here. All right, first things first. I want to know what happened. Um... We're going to shuffle this situations because I want to know what happened. I hear all the little feet running around out there in the hallway. All right. This says still alive. Okay. So somebody is still alive. God, please um, show us and tell us everything that we need to know today from the spiritual realm. Anything that's going to put anybody's heart at ease and give them peace and clarity. It says still alive. It says abu abusing medication. Um, it was 1717 on the timer when I said abusing medication. So somebody may have overdosed, but they're still alive. Or they was abusing medication while they were still alive. Take it as it resonates. These aren't the kind of messages that you want to force. All right, these cards are quiet now. Okay, nothing else came out. All right, so someone was abusing medication when they were alive or they are, they're doing that now. And I'm hearing they might just need your help. Um, I saw cases of water being carried in. This could have been, you know, going on in the 70s. We're going to see, though. Um... So this deck, um, this deck of cards has different meanings for me. Um, you know, children, the elderly people and stuff, you know, the, the wands. When I ask God for different um, professions, different types of jobs, if I get swords, that's legal, that's law enforcement, okay? And that's why even yesterday, in yesterday's innocent innocent report, God was saying to quickly call law enforcement. We had, you know, we had we had swords out there. Um, when I get pentacles, when I ask about somebody's profession, somebody's job, that's a basic logistic job. So, like, somebody could work in a warehouse. Somebody could be a CDL driver, a truck driver, you know. Somebody might work at a grocery store, anything. That's just a, a basic logistic job. Um, if we get cups, that's human services in the medical field, some kind of human services. If we get wands, that's media and publicity, some, some kind of, um, entertainer, singer, uh, public speaker of some sort, somebody with a platform. 
Um, all right. Mm. All right, God, clarify, clarify this still alive, please. All right. We got the Nine of Swords and a Two of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody might be a police officer or a security guard. They both came out in reverse. But somebody somebody might be... Yeah, this has shields on it. Somebody might be a, in a star badge. Shields... This is like a police officer. That's just what I'm getting right now for today. Somebody might be in it, like, especially like with this two of pentacles, the basic logistic job. Somebody might be a police officer or a security guard. That's really what I'm getting in my spirit. I have the queen of cups in reverse. The queen of cups um, is a middle-aged, a middle-aged woman. Uh, what's this abusing medication? I have the Knight of Cups. That's a teenage girl. Alright. Alright. Might be a teenage girl abusing medication. A middle aged woman. Up, oh, this just flipped over in my hand. I have a king of swords. A king of swords is um, a male, uh, um, a middle-aged male. A page of cups is a adolescent little girl. Oh, that was that flipped out quickly. All three of these flipped out. All right, yeah, so this is the Five of Wands. This is the Five of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Teenage, okay, so teenage boy. A teenage boy might have went to the hospital. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, a teenage boy might have had to go to the hospital. This, this might have happened with children. This might have happened with a teenage girl. This may have happened with, um, this may be happening with some middle-aged adults as well. You might be a, po you might be a police officer that knows about this, that, that knows about what's going on with these people. Maybe, or maybe you want to know why somebody's in the hospital or what's going on. It could be a lot of fighting and conflict going on that's causing somebody to want to abuse medication. Um, but what I'm getting is that, that somebody's still alive, but they might have overdosed possibly on medication. Children get into medication in the home whenever medication is not secured. And, um, see, yeah, I have the tower here. I kept thinking of the tower every time I saw that number 13 when I was doing the math in the beginning. We have the tower here. I think this card's coming all out in reverse. My card is upside down. My bad, guys. But I have the tower here. Yeah. 
I have the Ten of Cups and the Tower. So somebody, there could be some teenagers and some kids stealing medication or getting into medication in the home. There might be some middle-aged adults like parents. I have, you know, I have the Knight, I mean, I have the Queen of Cups and a King of Swords, some middle-aged people. You might have a teenage daughter. You might have a teenage son. You might have an adolescent child. I mean, an adolescent little girl. Secure your medication. Um, you might be a police officer. You might know a police officer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, when I just got done shuffling, it's 25, 25 on a timer. And I look at the bottom of the deck and I see the devil. Somebody might be addicted to medication or becoming addicted to medication that they're not even supposed to have access to. All right. Okay. Um, I had to get my kids real quick, but yeah, there's some adolescent children that might be getting into medication that they shouldn't have access to. Because kids can open pill bottles, so you need to secure your pill bottles, parents. Um, there's teenagers getting medicine. They One of them might be addicted to it, and one of them may have overdosed. But they're still alive. They might have had to go to the hospital. Because I'm, I'm getting a hospital here. Um, they might have had to go to the hospital. and But, but they're, getting, they're getting the medicine from their home. They might be saying that they're getting it from their friends or whatever, but they're they're getting it from in their home, in the home. And they're using it to deal with stress and situations going on in the home. Is what I'm getting. I'm also getting um first responders and career career workers. Um I mean, I didn't mean to say career workers. I don't know why it came out that way, but I, I'm getting people that have a career in first response. Um, stay encouraged. Take very, very good care of your mental health. I know, you know, with 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 the history, you know, when I was when I was going to be an EMT, the stuff that you see as a, a first response. Uh, I mean, the stuff that you see is crazy. It, it it can drive you crazy. And if you don't take the time to go to therapy and go to counseling, just go out into the woods. Just go out into nature. Go to the beach by yourself. If you don't take the time to clear your mind and clear your energy, you will go crazy. Because y your job is to respond to trauma. Your job is to go and be a hero. So... It's like, you know, don't... And then, you know, you might be a police officer or a security guard. Maybe maybe you're in the military and, you know, you have to fight a lot. There's a lot of fighting. The devil fell down again. The devil fell down with temperance. You know, somebody is using... Somebody is using medication and, you know, addictions to, to find peace and to bring balance to their cells but that stay encouraged that's not healthy you have to stop that you're still alive but you're abusing medication and i keep saying yours so maybe you watch this i don't know but you're gonna have to stop like this is a warning to stop this is a warning to parents secure your medication from your teenagers and your children i was also getting nurses like i, I was getting workers a quick queen of cups like nurses are abusing medication apparently is what i'm kind of getting maybe your job is stressful being a nurse i went to nursing school y'all i could i didn't make it y'all <laughs> but being a nurse is a stressful job your job is to respond to sickness and ailment if you don't take care of yourself and you burn yourself out you can go and find solace and medication but you're killing yourself and you're the one that's going to be, you know, needing a nurse. There could be someone trying to entice you or, you know, there could be someone asking you. There could be someone asking you to bring them medication from the hospital for money. Um, there could be, and I have, I have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. I did see 
the Six of Cups card. Somebody, I keep getting, honestly, it's like I don't want to say it, but it's like I'm getting like somebody wants to purposely end their life with medication. Somebody wants to have a... Somebody wants to have some kind of chemical or medicinal death through medication so that it can be a peaceful ending for them. That is illegal. Um, God is watching. You are under judgment. I don't advise you to um, off yourself. Whatever karma you're facing, whatever you're facing, it can be faced in this lifetime. You don't want to go into the next lifetime with this issue. It was 444 on, on the timer when I said that. You don't want to go into the next lifetime with these issues because that's what's going to happen. It doesn't stop because just because you pass away doesn't stop. It doesn't stop there. I promise. I promise you. I promise. Take my word for it. It doesn't stop there. Uh, all right. Let me get the tarot deck that I want to use. Y'all, like, really just take care of your mental health. Protect your children. You know, children get sad and stressed out. Children who aren't getting enough attention. This is not what I want to use. Children go through a lot. And children will take... Listen, my son my son right now knows how to open adult pills. Adult pill bottles. Okay? My kids know how to open stuff that they, they say is childproof. You have to really, really be vigilant. I mean, vigilant. But Lord, vigilant. <laughs> you have to be very, very vigilant. When I pulled this... I pulled this this deck out of my bag and I'm it's, the death card is here. If you don't want to lose your children or lose your teenagers, if, if you know, if 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 you want to if you want your family to stay alive and healthy, I suggest you secure your medication. Somebody's abusing medication but they're still alive. If you don't want to be, you know, it could be an elderly person. Somebody might be born in 1975 as well, because I have some middle-aged people out here. When you were a child, you might, in the 70s, to, to survive the 70s, you might have watched the adults abuse medication, and that's the what you pick. You can be delivered from that habit. You can grow out of that habit. You can overcome that demon. Okay, you have to overcome that demon. You do not want that that uh, that addictive that spirit of addiction. You don't want that on your children. You don't want your children to pick up on that. It destroys your organs. It robs you of your life purpose, and it keeps you in a low vibration, so that you can't rise above life's everyday challenges. It could be it could be um, illegal drug addiction, heroin, or you know that kind of stuff. You don't you don't you you don't you don't want. Here's the thing: you might have been addicted. You might have been addicted to pills, to medication, but that spirit of addiction leads to other things. So, okay, you you could be addicted to fentanyl. But then your teenage son or daughter, they pick up that spirit of addiction and they end up addicted to heroin, not fentanyl, like you were addicted to. Like the generational curses don't stay the same. When, when they get passed down, like you, you really have to walk away. I have the eight of cups. You really, really, really have to like cold turkey. And save yourself. I have the nine, this nine of wands flipped over in reverse in my hand. 
It says you may be fighting a losing battle. If so, if so, it's time to cut your losses and get out. Learn whatever lessons you can. I'm sorry. Learn whatever lessons you can from the failure, and know that the wheel is always turning. The wheel is always turning. You can always gain good karma. You can always turn things around for yourself. But this addiction, like you thinking, okay. I'm here. What I'm hearing right now is, all right, I'm just going to take it for a little bit longer while I'm going through this. While, while I'm getting through this tower, while I'm going through this divorce, while I'm, um, you know, trying to find a new job, I just got to be able to stay sane. Or, you know, while I'm trying to get out of this tight situation, while I'm trying to get this money, I'm just going to deal with the drugs just, just while I'm going through this and then I'm going to stop. No, you need to just cut, like, cut, cut your... That's a losing battle. That mindset is going to keep you trapped in in this toxic cycle of addiction. Your children also need you present. When you're dealing with addictions and you're trying to raise children and you have a family... I have the King of Pentacles. When you're dealing with addiction and you're raising a family, you have children. They're watching you and they, they, they see what you look like and they see the vibration. You're also not present when you do that. I have um, the Knight of Cups. They both flew out midway. But your kids, when I say how kids pick up on, they don't have to see you do drugs in order to pick up on that spirit of addiction. It's your energy. If you have teenagers or you have a little girl and you're an addict, your daughter is looking at you every day. She's going to grow up and be attracted to men who look like you, who look like an addict, who look dehydrated and stressed out, and who's also not... um who's absent-minded, who's not emotionally um, present for her because they're always high. That's the spirit of addiction. I have the Ten of Pentacles right on top of this Ten of Cups. I have the Star. So, Aquarius, Aries, Virgo, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius. These signs could be significant. These zodiac signs. I have the three of swords. So somebody somebody is using medication to heal heartbreak as well. I have the knight of swords. Somebody's using medication to heal heartbreak and you need to stop. I have the five of swords. have the magician oh goodness I have the nine of pentacles and the two of cups okay somebody um Somebody had, okay, somebody, somebody who wants to, somebody who wants to win at all costs is what I'm getting. 
you might be in some kind of nest you might be in some kind of energy that you're willing you're willing to do whatever it takes you you know you might be in some kind of energy where what's the word i'm starting to hear the sweet thing song again don't you know you're my everything sweet thing somebody might be in a kind of energy i'm hearing by any means necessary You're willing to do whatever it takes, but God wants you to know that you're fighting a losing battle. You are fighting a losing battle and you need to cut your losses because you trying to win at all costs is causing addictions and stress. This is not okay. This is not good. God, what card do you want me to get for correlation? It's like I don't even want to pull cards right now because I'm like, I just want to preach the cut it out. Like, the medicine ain't helping. It's lowering your vibration so you can't manifest exactly what it is that you want. And it's keeping you stuck and caught in illusions. And it's costing your family. It's costing you exactly what you want. You might be a nurse. You might be a security guard. You might be a police officer. You, Anybody who works in these fields. All right. This fell out in reverse. Add, add the numbers. So do gem, gematria. But add, add those numbers. So whatever numbers come out here. These are numbers and letters. Whatever numbers come out here, we're going to add it up. I'm just... I want everybody to secure their medication. That's what I want. We're going to get some letters and numbers. I got A and number 1. I got P, number six. One and six is a seven. Seven is significant. P is significant. P for like pills. A for apple. X flew out. Um, number four. Again, four is significant. Four plus one plus six is 11. But four is significant. The letter X, like um, xylophone or Xanax, AXP. The letter A reminds me, um, the first thing I thought of was acetaminophen. Be careful. Lock up your Tylenol. You could, I know you could just leave Tylenol out. No, Tylenol, you could definitely end your life with Tylenol. Lock up your Tylenol, acetaminophen pills, lock that up. Stop buying Xanax off the street. Stop taking Xanax to people from the hospitals if you're a nurse. And a bunch of cards flew out at me when I said that. Okay, I got to like get down on the floor and pick them up. A bunch of cards just flew, just jumped out and flew out at me. Stop buying. Stop buying any kind of medication off the street. These cards fell down on the floor. So the medicine might be dirty. The medicine might be laced. Now my floor is not dirty. My floor is not dirty, but that's what came to my mind. What you're getting off the street could be dirty. It could be laced with stuff you don't even know.
this card flew out and landed on the arm of my chair. The number eight is significant. And this is the vowel card for I and O. Look at the screen. Paxo? I don't know. P-A-O-X, number eight. Eight plus one is nine, plus four is 13, plus six is 19. It says you need more letters. All right, oh, here we go. This one flipped over. The letter C. Look at the screen. I know PAX sounds like PAX or PAC or CAP. Tighten the CAP is what I'm getting. I have X and then CAP. Tighten the CAP. I'm getting a pick, the letter A and then P-I-C, a pick. This says start new set. All right. You need more numbers. Let me get the dice. That means God, God wants me to go ahead and move on. I'm getting, I don't know why I'm getting, I'm, 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 I keep hearing CPAC, like a CPAC machine. I don't know. Let's see. Um, again, number three is significant. Three and three is here. 33. Somebody's 33 years old. Or number six is significant. Because I have the number six here looking at me. 33 equals six. And I have this number six here facing me. Uh, what numbers? What numbers are significant? The number 26 is significant. For some reason. Um, I have five. And four, significant again. And, you know, in, in the beginning of the reading, them, them numbers were coming out. Number three, number five, again. Number two, number three. These could be house addresses. You might know a teenager. Like, you, you somebody, somebody might be struggling with, with medic, me, medicinal addiction, and you know them, and you know they're going through something. But you don't know what they're going through. This is what they're going through. Yeah, 20. I have 20 here. And then six. I mean, I have the number two here. And then number six here. 26 is significant. Number one, number five. Number four, number six. Again. Number four, number five. Number six, number five. Number four, number six, I'm sorry, number five, and number six. Six and five, five and six. Like I said, it was 526 when I got up. I just turned around, look at the clock, and it said 2256 on the timer. Um, but 25, you know, 5, 5, 2, 6 equals 13. The number 13 is significant. And the number 4 is very, very, very significant. If you need to know, if somebody's in a hospital or somebody's hurt but they're still alive, you need to know how many pills someone took. It could be around 4. They could have took 33. Okay? It could be any, any one of these numbers. God, what, what kind of house are we talking about? Okay, so whoever is going through this, whoever needs to secure their medication for their kids, I want to look into what kind of house. 
Yes, baby. I'm going to look into what kind of house might resonate with these people, might resonate with you. So we can help narrow this down. If there's a child sick in the hospital and you don't know what's wrong, maybe you don't know what happened. Maybe you left them with teenagers. Get off the door. Go play. Thank you. My kids are up having a ball. Um, you might have left them with teenagers. You might have left your child with some teenagers and they're babysitting and then something happened to your child. And your child, you know, might be unconscious in a hospital. You know, you never know. But the child might have gotten into some medicine that the teenagers had. And maybe maybe, maybe the babysitter, you know, teenagers don't want to tell you the truth what happened. You know, any of this could be confirmation for any kind of situation concerning medication. But don't, I hope ain't nobody, you know, don't try to end your life with medication. Okay, even if it is a peaceful passing, you still have to deal with the afterlife that is real and will happen. It doesn't stop. It doesn't end there. All right, I have a villa-style home. And I have a cottage-style home. That fell out. So the people going through, you know, these situations might live in these style houses. You might live in one of these style of houses. Make sure, you know, you're looking at the the screen. You know, while you're watching this reading, make sure you look at the screen because I put I put a lot of notes and. The pictures, I already had the pictures. Every house in this deck, I have pictures of it in my phone. So I'm ready to put it on the screen so that you can know what type of houses these are. So make sure you're looking. I have a Cape Cod style house. Yes, baby. Y'all, my kids don't want nothing. They, they, want, they want to know who I'm talking to. This flew over a Victorian-style house. I know a lot of times, you know, Victorian-style houses are a little expensive. I know a lot of times when you have a lot of money, like when, when you have a lot to maintain, it's a lot of weight on your shoulders, and it's very, very stressful. Don't turn to medication because that's going to create more problems in your life. You know, I know you're trying to manage the stress of having money. Having money is a stress in itself. Being wealthy, being a certain kind of wealthy, has its stress factors. It's like, that's why they say there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. It's no such thing. Okay? Don't turn to medication. I worked around medicine long enough to know there's no such thing, you know, th there's... There's no such thing as a life that's better than yours because people are abusing medication just to survive their quote-unquote fancy, better life, happier life. People are destroying their organs in order to because they don't want to destroy their their life. They don't they don't want to destroy their livelihood. They don't want to destroy their credit. They don't want their um. They don't want their physical um physical accomplishments to be taken from them that's what i'm getting you know you might have gotten a mortgage on your home and got a nice car people really 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 become heartbroken and devastated whenever their physical um trophies is what i'm seeing what i'm getting whenever their trophies in life are taken away from them people be distraught and they turn to medication so Okay, so if you already taken a loss or if you're struggling to hold on to these monetary things, you know, to these um, superficial things, don't add to that by destroying your organs. So then you won't have your, super, your superficial things or your health. You won't have either one. You you are valuable. You're worthy. Choose your health. Choose your body. Fuck your house. Choose your body. Choose your health. Fuck your car. Choose your health. I 
I have an Italianate home. So these are the types of houses that resonate with this reading. Either you might live in one of these houses. I have a contemporary architecture or people going through this live in these types of houses. Again, make sure you're looking at the screen because I'm putting pictures of the of these types of ho houses. Someone might be in a homeless shelter. Abusing medication, don't be taking. Listen, don't be taking no meds from them people in a homeless shelter. You're going to be homeless longer than you have to be. How you going to pass a drug test to get a job? To get your new crib? You're going to be homeless than you have to be. I got homeless shelter, and then I got, like, old shack or garage. So someone might be displaced, and I promise you that abusing medication will not make your situation any better. Again, fuck your house, okay? It don't even matter where you live at. If you got good health, you're going to be okay. I'm definitely getting here that somebody, um, in the tarot card, somebody's trying to manifest stability in a relationship. Somebody is trying to manifest a stable home and a partnership. But abusing medication is counterproductive. You probably, see, if you're a human being, you are a physical manifestation of God, which means you have the power to manifest exactly what it is that you want. Abusing medication is robbing you of that power. Everything you take, everything you do, is robbing you of more and more of that power. And your children are watching you walk around powerless, low energy, looking dehydrated. All right? It's like you don't want... You don't want your daughters and sons to grow up. If you're a woman, you don't want your son mansion flipped over. Yeah, see, somebody is rich. Somebody is rich going through this. Don't be, don't be envying rich people, wanting to be like rich people because you think they have a better life. No. If you if you are rich, do not let the stresses of being rich, the loneliness, it's lonely at the top. Do not let the loneliness, that's what I'm hearing. Do not let the loneliness drive you into destroying yourself. If you are all you have, then protect yourself and take care of yourself and love yourself. Don't be driven to addiction because of codependency on other people. Don't create dependency on medication because... Of your codependency. Deal with your codependency. Medicine ain't going to do nothing. It might get you through a few hours. But then what? If there's no... That's a losing battle. An addiction is... You know, it, it, it creates addiction. That's a losing battle. You can overcome it. Things will get better. Things will be all right. Also, understand that solitude and loneliness is different. You're not alone at all. There is nothing new under the sun. You're not alone. But if you're in solitude, it's so that you can have an expansion. Addiction to medication suppresses your ability to expand and to grow. Most of the time, you simply have to grow in order to manifest and you know achieve the thing that you want. You just have to grow. But medication suppresses the nervous system it suppresses um your heart rate and your breathing so what happens is it's, it, ultimately it suppresses your ability to raise your vibration and grow in the direction that you need to grow into to do what you need to do to get what you want to get to be where you want to be i have tutor architecture yo these houses is like trying to jump out a Tudor architecture is a type of home. Okay. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing God say that like that's enough of the houses. 
Um, I'm going to pull some states here. All right, Father God, what states are people in that I'm talking to? This flew right over. Okay. South Dakota. Oregon. You could be in these states. You might know somebody struggling with these issues in these states. California. Tennessee. Illinois, I have Maryland, drink water, I seen somebody carrying cases of water in my premeditated state, drink plenty of water, start clearing your system, take niacin, um, vitamin B, and not not the fake niacin. What is it? Uh, inositol. Not not that. Not inositol. Straight up niacin. N i a c i n. Take that. If you if you take a lot of it at once, it's gonna make you itch real bad. It's called flush. It's gonna make you itch real bad. Um, cause it's opening up your pores. It's, it's gonna drop your blood pressure as well. I use niacin, so you know that, that that's that's how I know. Make sure you look up the side effects, but start cleansing your system. You know, do your apple cider vinegar and niacin. It helps you get over the addiction. It helps you get over, um, you know, it starts flushing it out of your system. But drink plenty of water. Stay hydrated as well. Niacin makes you pee. That vitamin B that makes you pee a lot. All right, Kansas, Indiana, all right, and Maine, these three flipped over in my hand. I have Vermont. Eat as much fruit as you can, is what I'm hearing God say. Eat as much fruit as you can. It has a lot of your potassium that you need. It has a lot, has a lot of um it has, it has a lot of hydration that you need. That's what that's what I hear God saying. I have Utah. I have overseas. Somebody overseas could be watching this or they might might be somebody you know overseas going through this. I have New York. I have North Carolina. I have Ohio. I have Washington. I have Louisiana. I have Nebraska. And I just keep going to the cars get quiet. They starting to quiet down a little bit now. But at first they was jumping out. I have Alaska. I have Georgia.
South Carolina. You could be in South Carolina. People, you know, people going through it. Any one of these states resonates somehow. North Dakota. We have North and South Carolina. We have North and South Dakota. Virginia and Colorado. And see, here's the thing. People are going through this in every state of this country. People are going through this. This is just significant to who can see this video, who this video will reach, and when. Okay? Of course, these readings are timeless. So, if this video reaches somebody a year from today that I'm recording it in Alaska, then this video was for you. That kind of thing. But yeah, people are abusing medication in, in all 50 states. So, and overseas, all over the world. People are abusing medication. It's just who this video will reach, when, and why. That's where the resonance comes in. Arkansas. Also, the order that they're coming out. You know, Oklahoma. And out of, outside of this country. Again, I have overseas outside of this country. Listen. Don't let no, don't go to jail. I heard Spike going to jail. You getting left behind or something like that. I heard that. When I'm in my meditative state. Don't be transporting drugs for people to abuse out from outside of the country, bringing it over here. We got enough problems. But don't end up going to jail for that shit. Because I definitely got the eight of swords up here. Somebody could be wanting to take themselves out because they're about to go to jail because they was transporting drugs from in and out of the country and they done got caught. I heard Spike going to jail. Somebody done got caught transporting drugs from in and out the country. And now they want to take their self out with, with medication. Keep an eye on them. If you know who this is, watch them. Keep an eye on them. Because they're tempted to try to take themselves out so they don't got to, you know, deal with their karma. God said that's what I did in my past life too. So I ain't, I ain't talking trash, but my ass went, God said my ass went to hell for that. <laughs> with my past life, okay? And I still had to bring my ass back here and still serve God. So... Don't think you're getting out of trouble because you try to take yourself out to, to avoid going to jail, to avoid your karma for what you did. Just deal with your karma. Don't let your karma ain't got to carry over to the next 500 years. No, just deal with it now. If you go to jail, you're going to jail. And don't be transporting drugs for nobody, nowhere. If you work in hospitals, don't be giving drugs to younger people on the street. Don't be selling drugs that way for the extra money because you're struggling. Okay? If you're working in a hospital and you have access to medicine, don't do it. It's out here in the spiritual realm. You're, you're about to get caught if you're not already caught. Somebody is watching you. Somebody knows what you're doing is what I'm hearing right now. Somebody knows what you're doing. You're not getting away with it. You might think you are, but you're not, okay? And they didn't tell you yet. It's what I'm hearing. Arizona. We have Arizona. Yeah, they're letting you hang yourself. Dang. What? They're letting you hang yourself. Like, you steal so much that you can't never get out of jail. Iowa flipped over. And Idaho wants to come out so bad. Of course, it's almost all 50 states the hell out here because the abuse of medication goes on everywhere. But I don't think, you know, this, this video may or may not reach somebody in all 50 states. But this, you know, th these videos, the Innocent Report is made to serve as multiple warnings. Multiple warnings to multiple different situations all in one reading. Lock up your medicine from your kids and teenagers. Kids can open them. My five-year-old autistic son can open my pill bottles. So I keep them bitches on my person. Because he the one. I lock them away. He knows how to open locks. My son's really, really highly intelligent. West Virginia. Kids are very intelligent. 
okay? Don't think I'm gonna put it on a high shelf where they can't get it. No, my son will take two tables. He will put a small table on top of another table and create a ladder. I've, I watch him do it to get Pop-Tarts and cereal. When I call myself trying to put snacks on high shelves so he can't get it, he just he creates something to get up there. Kids are unstoppable. I have Alabama. Kids are unstoppable in Alabama is what I just heard. <laughs> so maybe you're in Alabama. Kids are unstoppable in Alabama. I have Michigan. I have Kentucky. Alright, the cards are getting quiet finally. It's, I mean, it's like 20 states not out here. All right, the cars got quiet. Most of the states are out here, though. I'm going to quickly go ahead and try to read through it again. So I can close up this reading. I'm going to see if there's anything else, any other information. Oh, you know, I'm hearing him say the zodiac signs. Kentucky, Michigan, Alabama, West Virginia, Idaho, Iowa, Arizona. Outside of this country, outside of the U.S., Oklahoma, Arkansas, Colorado, North Dakota, South Carolina, Virginia, Alaska, Georgia, Utah, Louisiana, Nebraska, Maryland, Washington, North Carolina, Illinois, Ohio, overseas, New York, Vermont, Tennessee, California, Maine, Indiana, Kansas, Oregon, and South Dakota. All right, these are the genders and the zodiac signs that um, could be relevant to this reading. We have a bisexual or transsexual Capricorn. have a bisexual or transsexual Gemini. People sometimes, the stress of being gay, the stress of being gay causes addiction because it's like you're trying to hide from yourself and from everybody else. Um, and you think people won't accept you. You have to like choose yourself though. Like you're not here to live for anybody else. And that's just period. Don't be destroying your organs and destroying your life with addictions because you're gay. That means at that point, you're doing way too much for society. You're doing way too much for other people. You're trying to feel comfortable fitting in with the rest of, you know, the world. But you don't, and that's okay. You, but you're doing way too much once you, once you start, you know... Once it turns into, like, you know, you doing addictions, it's like you doing too many pills and stuff. and It's just way too much to fit in. Just It's just too much. cars are acting like they don't want to come out of my hand so somebody somebody wants to come out what i'm getting too it could be a male leo a male scorpio somebody might might be struggling to come out i do have some teenage boys here Pay attention, you know, to your sons, your nephews and stuff. Make sure you love on them and accept people for who they are so that they don't have to feel like they have to turn to medication and addictions and, you know, drugs. Because there might be somebody, I'm definitely like getting that. 
See, yeah, these purples keep flipping out. I have a transsexual, bisexual Aries. I have a male Taurus. These two, these flew out at me. I have a transsexual, bisexual Virgo. I have a female Virgo. I have a female Libra. I have a male Aquarius. I'm, I'm just going to shuffle these. Only 36 cards here. But I do this, you know, until they get quiet. I have a transsexual, bisexual Taurus. I have a transsexual, bisexual Leo. I have a male Virgo. I have a male Sagittarius. I have a male Gemini. female Scorpio. I have a male Cancer. I have a female Aquarius that flipped over. You could be this sign, person you're thinking of, could be this sign or gender. Male Aries. Of course, there's, you know, there's always a purpose behind the order that they come out. A transsexual, bisexual Pisces. I have a female Leo. I Alright. The cards are quiet. The cards are quiet now. I'm going to read that off again. I have a female Scorpio. A female Leo. A female Aquarius a female Libra, a female Virgo. I have a male Aries, a male Scorpio, a male Leo, a male Cancer, a male Gemini, a male Sagittarius, a male Aquarius, a male Virgo. These could be the kids' genders or zodiac signs that you need to lock pills up from. I have a male Taurus. I have a transsexual, bisexual Leo. I have a transsexual, bisexual Taurus. I have a transsexual, bisexual Virgo. I have a transsexual, bisexual Aries. I have a transsexual, bisexual Pisces. I have a transsexual, bisexual Gemini. I have a transsexual, bisexual Capricorn. Always lead in love. And that's just period. All right. And again, I hear God saying to get the Kipper deck before we close this reading up because this reading is long. You know what? The Innocent Report reading is just going to be long, y'all. We, we doing investigations and we it's multiple cases. It's not just one case. So that's what God letting me know. 33 is at the bottom of this concern. 33. The number 33 been significant for the reading. Like I said, in my meditative state, I saw I saw the number 333. 
I shuffle them up a little bit. Someone is feeling heartbroken because they feel like they couldn't manifest a relationship and they've been trying and trying, but it's a losing battle at this point. They need to cut their losses. It, it could have something to do with homosexuality. So someone might, you know, need you to be patient with them and, and loving. Someone, uh, not need you to be patient and loving, but that's what I heard God say too. Um, they might, they might need comfort. They really, really might need your comfort. God, I want to get the colors of whatever pills. 38, my, the number 38, toil and labor, might be significant. It's, it's sitting here looking at me. God, what's the color of some of these pills that's being taken? This tried to fly out. I got gray. And then, like, see, if it's in reverse, if it's in reverse, it's a hard, dark, like, charcoal gray. If it's in the upright, it's a soft, light gray, okay? Like a silver, light gray. But that fell out midway, so, you know, just gray pills. It could be gray pills involved or gray, you know, liquid. Because we did get the letters. And I'm trying to get the color of the medication. Green fell out in midway. It could be pills or liquid. Alright, the colors are kind of quiet. So be mindful of any gray or green pills or liquid. I know promethazine, there, there is green promethazine liquid. Just be mindful and be careful. All right. The colors are quiet. So we got green and we got gray for the colors out here, okay? It could be, oh, I heard green pill bottle. Could be a green or gray pill bottle you need to lock up if this resonates at all. Mm. All right, where's my kipper deck? God, what's going on with this revelation? I got sudden wealth number 11 and the... 38 was the last number I saw on the deck. So number 11 is certainly significant. But I got sudden wealth. Yeah, 38 fell out again. Like I said, it was at the bottom before. The number 38 is very significant. Somebody's going to get some sudden wealth from their toil and labor. Or they may be trying to get some sudden wealth from their toil and labor. But we have 11-11 here. So God is confirming that it's happening for you. If you're watching this or... If you know somebody that this reading... Like whoever you're, whoever you're thinking about, whoever this reading is... Um, four. God is doing it. I had the lovers. 15. That equals six. Somebody about to get some sudden wealth and love because of their hard work. And then I have thought. 16. So we have 15, 16. 15, 16 came out back to back. What that let me know is if you stay in order and stay in alignment and stay stay the proper course, because this says thoughts. Keep your thoughts in alignment is what I'm getting. Keep your thoughts in order and in alignment so that you can manifest this wealth and this love. I, I got that from the tarot too. I got um, seven. And that's also seven seven. Seven seven, um, this this number seven card at the bottom of the deck, it says message. Someone could be thinking of sending a message. 
someone might have gotten a message from somebody i don't know but we have 15 16 and 7 but this is 7 7 it's confirmation I have 31 bad health 31 is number four which is very very significant to this reading the number four could be the month of april um could be the month of april that's really significant to this reading but someone someone is working someone is working hard towards their goals but they but if you're in bad health because you're abusing yourself, you know, if you're getting messages of bad health, if you're getting confirmations of bad health because you're abusing medication, it's going to rob you of this new, of this destiny. Like, it's going to rob you of this opportunity to have this love and this money in the future. Somebody has a bright future. Unexpected income. Exactly. Somebody, so, so, you have a bright future. You're getting unexpected income and sudden wealth. You about to get an ace of pentacle for all your hard work. But if you're abusing drugs, it's going to rob you of this new beginning. I got privileged lady and wealthy man back to back. They both flew out one on top of the other. And it's, you know, it's, it, it was 12, 13. So that's more confirmation to stay in alignment, stay off of drugs, and don't tear up your health. Somebody's going to be a privileged lady and a wealthy man, and it fell, it's, it's coming under this lover's card. You're going to get unexpected income. Y'all going to be wealthy and in love. But your bad health is about to rob you of this. If you're already in bad health, the only medicine you need to be taking is the medicine to help deal with your ailment. Don't become addicted to the medication that you're taking to help deal with whatever ailment you have either. If it's, an, if it's a medication that is addictive, do not drink alcohol with it. Do not smoke anything with it. It will... It'll... um. It'll heighten the chances of you becoming addicted to the medication. Y'all gotta be quiet. They out there playing tag. Talking about you're it. It says official person. And that's 22. If you if you're in bad health and you're taking medication, don't be drinking and smoking with your meds. I'm just saying because it, it It'll cause you to become addicted, okay? That happened to a family member of mine. And then look, we have 22 and 23 that flew out back to back. So we have unexpected income, wealthy man, privileged lady, and we have official person in courthouse, 22, 23. So again, it's two numbers in alignment. God keep, because we have 15, 16, 12, 13 that came out. 22, 23. Something might have happened. You might have gotten a subpoena in 2022, and now it's time to go to court in 2023. With this official person here. It could be a wealthy, privileged couple. That's what I'm getting to. It's, okay, so this is a wealthy, privileged couple. That they, they they were getting unexpected income. They was getting plenty of money and sudden wealth. They was working hard together, okay? This couple was working hard together because we definitely had that in the first deck. We have, we have a middle-aged couple. We have the tower, you know, we have the ten of cups. We have the devil. There could be a couple, you know, because of the trouble that you're in, you're addicted to substances, your children are watching you. You don't want to bring this down on your children. You have to get your health together. 
there's there, there's a wealthy couple that might be in trouble now and they're going to court i don't know what you might have been bringing drugs selling drugs i, I don't know but you're one of y'all or both of y'all is in bad health now is what i'm getting not only are you in bad health you might be in legal trouble so it's more than one you see somebody getting this blessing as a gift somebody somebody's getting a blessing as a gift i have 717 here a message as a gift. Somebody might be getting a gift in the mail. Be looking out in your mail. But I'm, I'm getting that there's blessings and gifts coming to somebody for their hard work. There's love coming to somebody for their hard work. While there's also a couple that's in trouble that might be addicted to substances and in bad health. The number 17 could be significant. This 21 is flipped over. Family room, 21. I have 31, 21. mature woman number six it could be a mature woman in bad health maybe somebody's mom i don't know but dealing with drugs is not how you get through this this problem if you're in trouble going to court end up strung out on drugs you know dealing trying to dull the anxiety with drugs is not going to make this go away it's just going to add stress because now it's like now you have to make sure you don't look high and make sure, now you got to make sure you acting right in court. Now you got to make sure you looking sober on top of getting out of the situation. Number four, courtship. It flew out on top of gift and family. I'm definitely also getting a divorce. Somebody is dealing with drugs. Somebody is taking drugs in order to cope with a breakup or a divorce. But pay attention to your kids is what I'm getting. You have other things to, to think about and worry about than just yourself and your feelings, okay? And what you're going through emotionally. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, I look up, I see a little girl, 18, child. Your kids are watching this situation. Pay attention to them. How do you think they're dealing with this breakup? How do you think they're dealing with this divorce? You don't, they watching y'all take pills and do drugs. You don't want them taking pills and doing drugs in order to cope with mommy and daddy's breakup or divorce. Sometimes, you know, you definitely have to consider the innocent people in this matter. It's not just about you. Don't, I'm not talking poverty. Drugs and all of this, it robs your kids of their abundance. 37 could be significant. The number 37. Somebody could be 37 years old. I have coffin at the bottom of the deck. This is, this is the second time I saw this coffin card, but it's upside. It's the only one that's in reverse out of all of this because somebody is still alive. The situation is not dead yet. You're not dead yet. I definitely got like this place, like a, a little boy in poverty, like maybe he's homeless or something. But yeah, um, little boys and little girls. Somebody has little boys and little girls. Don't, don't rob them of, I, all right, I understand that it's hard dealing with a lot of life's issues and you have kids and you like, you got to try to be a parent and survive your own life as an adult. But don't further rob your kids of their abundance. And then I look at the bottom of this deck sitting here staring at me and it's thief. Don't rob your kids of the abundance that they already could be losing with the divorce or with the breakup. Whatever you're going through, if you lost your job, anything at all. Don't rob your kids of their parents too. Because addiction snatches your energy. It, you know, it medication is made to keep you low vibrational so you don't feel your pain 
but if you don't feel your pain, you also, like, you don't process it and you're not healing and feeling your pain, you also can't feel anything else. And you're absent-minded with your kids. So don't, you know, it's like, your kids might not, you might, it might be a broken home for right now, but at least they still have their parents' attention and love and guidance, okay? 333, 1333 is what I saw on the timer when I just said that. You know, your kids still need you in one piece. Your kids still need you to be able to think and communicate, okay? I love you, innocent fam. I'm going to close this up here. Take it where it resonates. You know, share it where it resonates and stay encouraged. I pray, Father God, that you heal and bless anybody going through this. Heal their pain, Father God. Um... I thank you for all the powers of the healing ascended masters. Be with these people in their time of turmoil and their time of agony. I thank you, God, for these blessings and um, sudden income and sudden wealth that's to come, that's coming out, for this new love that's coming to someone. I thank you, God, that um, your love and your light is what guides all of us through any situation that, that we're in. And that if we keep innocent faith, we will be able to visually see you show up for us. We will have tangible evidence that God is showing up for me. God is showing up for us and he loves us. I thank you and praise you and pray. Amen. Again, thief rolled out. Lord, somebody's in trouble for being a thief and they're in bad health. Karma is coming, but do not do not try to... Ease the pain of your karma with medication. You're still alive. You still have a lot of hope and a lot to live for. Okay? The medication is not going to change anything. Oh, it will. Abuse the medication is going to make it worse. It is going to change. So it's going to make it worse. 1515 15 was on the time when I said that. Abuse the medication is making it worse. Way worse. Okay? 1515 15 is 6 6. They both break down to a 6. But this thief card, the last card that came out is 24. That also equals six. All right. So six, six, six could be significant. Okay. That means get balance and get, get orderly. All right. Stay away from the devil and temptations. Stay away from people who take drugs and abuse drugs. Stay away from places where you can easily get drugs that you're trying to cleanse yourself of. Stay away from people who steal drugs. A thief. Don't steal drugs. If you don't have money to buy your drugs, that's the universe trying to help you overcome the addiction. Don't start stealing drugs. Don't deal with people who steal drugs. They're going to get in trouble and you're going to get in trouble. Okay? All right. I love you, innocent fam.